Z L two C T M. Yeah, Z L two Charlie Tango Mike on the side. Zulu Lima number two Charlie Tango Mike. Z L two Charlie Tango Mike over. Yeah, get a. Uh, I was just uh, heard you on the big rig, and I thought I'd race outside and set up the little portable rig. So just transmitting on a small, very small QRP uh, homebrew rig, and just thought I would uh, come up on the side. So uh, apologies for jumping on in, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, yeah, I just wanted to participate a little bit there, ever. Yeah, what was the, the handle, over? Yeah, name here is Charlie. Charlie, over. Oh, it did something peculiar then, and we didn't catch the name. So again, over. Yeah, the name here is Charlie, as in Charlie Horse, over. Okay, Charlie, I think you might have called us once before. I think you're in my book somewhere, and um, I'll have to go back and find it. Um, oh, well, uh, uh, homebrew rig, how many, how many watts have you got there, Charlie? It, it, and is it, is it single side band? And um, it, I can hear it okay as long as the conditions hold up. Over. Yeah, no, I think this one here is transmitting um, just under 5 watts. So I suspect it's about between 3 and 4 watts at the moment. Um, just, I just sort of need to dust it off again and have a look at it uh, before I go out tramping. But it's a little homebrew rig, uh, single side band. This one here is currently on 80 metres. Uh, just using a little uh, digital synthesis chip for the uh, the VFO BFO, and um, and like I say, yeah, fully home brew, and uh, yeah, just just lots of fun building these things and uh, putting them on the air over. Right, so what's your QTH, Charlie? Yeah, the QTH is Wellington, Wellington over. Okay, well maybe Bob's hearing you better. So um, I'm sure we've worked before. We uh, have. Did you say you'll go tramping with it over? Yes, yes, a lot of these rigs I build to go tramping, um, a little bit like a ZL2 BMI, so uh, this particular one's a slightly larger rig in a, a little plastic uh, food box, but uh, yeah, lots of fun, so yeah, I, I take these out tramping when I can, over. Oops, what's happened there? Frequency on frequency. Hey, you copying in Bob, over? No, I didn't get the last thing he said. It was a bit quick, and I didn't copy yeah. it. Uh, I just, it's a mistake uh, I of mine talking too fast. Now this antenna is a half wave on 40 meters. Delta Julia NDJ, who's somewhere near the Lewis Pass with one of my homebrew rigs. Oh, yeah. Uh, one that I built. It's his, his rig now, more or less, but um, uh, it has a few problems and he hasn't been able to get me the last couple of nights. So okay. I'll, um, I just want to check if he's there. ZL4 MDJ, are you about um, um, ZL4 MDJ that I'll be in my office? I thought it was TBMI. No, yeah. Okay, so, um, I'll put it back around the bob, and I'm not sure if Paul is still there. Yeah, so it's a little 80 meter rig I'm, here, um, using two SI, uh, say again, um, any 612s for the product detector and the, and the, um, <coughs> uh, and the, uh, the mixer there. Yes, okay, there, well, I'm not copying Charlie particularly well. Yep. It's not surprising. Too fast to speak. Yeah, it's a bad habit of mine talking too fast. And it's not all that strong. I yep. got that he's under 5 watts. Yep, so, um, I was sort of half listening uh, as they transmit. In fact, I'll go back to this. More details about that, I'm sure Eric is. Mm. And, uh, um, uh, the location, well, we want to get the location. He's not in the, the current uh, school book at the moment. I should be. Uh, it may be, Charlie may be fairly uh, new uh, uh, no? to the band. 
and uh, it won't be in this log book, it'll be in my one that I've, I was using up at, at the prior, if I've, if I've got any previous mention uh, 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 about a uh, uh, record of his uh, QSO with him, so um, uh, I'll, I'll just have to ask, we'll get the, get the answers direct to the L2, T, T, uh, Del 2 CTM to Del 2 ASO, name is Bob, over. Uh, ZL2 ASO, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike, yeah thanks Bob. Um, yeah, no, I've been uh, I've been a ham since uh, '89, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised I'm not in the uh, in the current call book, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, the QTH here is Wellington, and uh, my 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 interest is certainly building these little homebrew rigs. And at the moment, uh, I thought I'd run outside and try this one. The antenna is actually a in fed half wave uh, tuned for 40 meters. Uh, and I've got a little homebrew antenna tuner and I uh, managed to tune it into 80 meters but of course it's not very efficient uh, at that frequency so I'm not surprised that you're finding it a little bit hard on the receive there so uh, a combination of a, uh, an, I guess a, an inappropriate antenna and low power so not surprising there anyway I'll let you uh, get back to try and get hold of uh, ZL4 MDJ um, but thank you to you both for coming back. Uh, it was certainly a pleasure and um, looking forward to working you both again in the future. Uh, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike in the group. Over. Charlie, I know that also ZL2DEQ is there. 2BEQ. Paul, are you copying anything much of ZL2CTN, over? No, nothing at all. I wouldn't know if he was there, over. OK. OK. I'll, I'll call it quits. Um, well, it's probably because of your high noise level. Yeah. Um, OK, Charlie, I'm pretty sure we have heard before. I've got a feeling you might belong to the QRP group, but you might... Can you just give me some Rogers? I might be able to get that. Are you... Roger, Roger. I do sometimes. That is correct. I do sometimes. Uh, yeah, definitely on the QRP rig. ZL2 BMI, ZL2 CTM. Okay, Charlie, that was good copy that time your signal came up. Oh, you, you know, I thought I heard you there, but I um, would uh, be interested to know what the weight of your little rig is. My latest rig, my latest single sideband rig, weighs about 100 and 20 grams, I think. I think it's 120 grams. It has five watts of single side band. In fact, I was using it from Mount Richmond uh, the day before yesterday. No, yesterday, the day before yesterday, yesterday I came home. I was on my way out from Mount Richmond in the Richmond uh, the Forest Park, or whatever they call it now, conservation area or something as they want to do. So, um, um, uh, it's good to hear that there's some other homebrew rigs up in the mountains and I have built, I think I've worked out about 12 or 13 or 14 oh, yes, he's double done side band rigs. Uh, a new one for a new hand who just finished and done her test here at my place today and passed with a mere 59 out of 60 oh. and she will be using it in the North Island. Uh, and in fact I've got the rig here on the desk, I've been talking to Bob on it tonight. So that will be rig number about 13 or 14 that I have built for others to tramp. Um, they're all crystal controlled, mostly on this frequency because I can make the crystals. Oh yes, um, oh, that's missing. So I must catch up with you again sometime, Charlie, and if I can get a, find out where you are sometime, I might even give you a ring so that we can have a bit better chat. But if you've got a bigger rig at home and you come on some Thursday night, yeah. when I happen to be on, because I don't come on very often either, um, I might be able to um, uh, get some details and I'd love to have a chat with you about your circuit and so on. That'd be great. Um, but I don't think we'll try and do it right now because if the, the, band, unless the band comes up a bit more, yeah. and unless you've got the time, it, <laughs> uh, we might be repeating things a fair bit. I'm sure you'll be hearing me because I've got 100 watts yes. at the moment, but uh, with your lower power, I, um, it's certainly going okay. 
Uh, and it sounds good. It's just a matter of the signal tank coming up enough to hear you. I think it's fading, what, 5 so by 5 okay, to 5 by 9, good. I'd say. Um, I'm going to put it back to you, and uh, you might just comment on whether I'm able to get you at home sometime or a cell phone or something. Um, if you can send me an email, um, my email is just, is just my, well, I'm, I'm in the book as uh, Eric and my uh, ZLTBMI, and my address, email address is just my surname, Tears at extra.co.nz. So if, if, if you're on the uh, mailing list anyway, you'll see it, because mm. Wayne sends out the... Uh, it's fading in and out. ZL2 BMI, ZL2 Charlie Tanger Mike. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, the conditions are certainly fading here. You're coming through between a 5x3 and a 5x9. But um, yeah, certainly we can certainly catch up uh, in another in another uh, communications way. Um, I am on QRZ uh, if you want to see some of the photographs there. Um, but yeah, it'd be certainly nice to catch up with you. I think you know my father, Tim Morris, uh, who's also uh, a vicar. So um, and I'm pretty sure you and I have met at some stage in the past. Anyway, um, I don't want to uh, hog this conversation, so I'll let uh, you three. Uh, get back into it and once again thank you very much and I am uh, no doubt we will catch up uh, at a later date. ZL2 BMI, ZL2 CTM. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, Charlie. Of course I do know your father yep. well, or well, did know when he was in the diocese here and you came up to a 5 and 7 now. Oh, yeah, so good. You were absolutely crystal clear coffee. So Perfect, crystal clear. Just the conditions lifted. Hey, well, we'll pick up again, Charlie. And I'm sure I can find you if I need to. You're on QRZ.com, I presume. Yep. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up sometime. Thanks very much. I'm going to put it back over to okay. the LTBEQ if he's still there. I'm going to see if he's copied anything now. Oh, okay. The conditions may have improved. And uh, I'll say cheers. I'll just listen to another round from Paul and, and uh, Bob. Uh, cheers there, Charlie. Is it L to be in the group? Is it still there, Paul? Yeah, L2BEQ? okay. So... Okay, I'm going to um, turn this rig off now. So what we have down here, what I built uh, is a small uh, antenna tuner, and what I elected to do is build in a um, an AD9850, which through a little amplifier there that takes it up to two volts peak to peak, I can put it through a resistive bridge, uh, and I can have the antenna tuner plugged into here, and then measure down here what the um, SWR is. So the way it works, at the moment this input to the little tuner part here, so there goes, it's a high impedance configuration with the inductor down here which is tapped uh, and the variable capacitor, that's zero to, well it's about 20 picofarads up to around uh, 325 odd picofarads. Um, so the way it works is um, I disconnect what would normally be plugged into the radio and I can plug it into there which arcs up the tuner part of the house uh, and then I can disconnect the antenna from the uh, radio and plug it into the output of the tuner um, and as we can see down there uh, hopefully you can see the little needle there which is uh, indicating the SWR and I can tune it there so there goes a nice a nice null down there sort of coming down there to 1.41 or so so We've got one down here, and then full scale is is, is an SWR of 10 plus. Uh, in fact, actually, I made a big mistake there. You can see the frequency there is 7.1. It defaults to 40 meters. Um, I can tune anywhere I like um, between on the HF bands, or I can push the button and I can cycle between um, 80, 40, and 20. So now, now I've got them on the correct band, 80 meters, and now we can re once again tune for that null, which is just there. Um, and then we can go back to normal operation. So normal operation is we have the output of the radio feeding the, um, the, the now antenna tuner, which is now tuned, and we can disconnect that power there and reconnect the power back to the radio. Um, oops, <laughs> back to the radio. So that's the uh, obviously the antenna there, and then I can disconnect the power and plug the power back into the radio, and then the radio will basically um, arc back up again 
Um, I did it that way so therefore I couldn't accidentally um, transmit into a, into, a, into a no load. So uh, that seems to work reasonably well. And the two terminals up there obviously we've got the antenna over here and then that counterpoise running through there. Uh, and as just mentioned before, uh, this particular antenna is uh, cut for uh, a half wave at 40 meters. So it's approximately nine, I cut it to about 19.8 meters. Um, but as we can see here, it tunes in reasonably well um, down in the 80 meter band um, for this particular rig here. Uh, but clearly not, not overly efficient at, at that frequency, but uh, certainly enough to get out in a, uh, a very poor situation here. Basically the antenna's running up over this bush here, so it's running along the bush, down the side of the house, and then there's, um, it's tied off at a tree down the other end of the property. So certainly not ideal, uh, but enough to get out, and I think um, I'll take it in this configuration uh, on the next tramp. Um, other than that, uh, no, it seems to be working well, so um, I'll take this one definitely tramping next time, so that'll be good. Um, and interesting enough, the, the, the weight of that is actually uh, the same weight as my um, existing tuner, which has the last an uh, has the large analog meter, so um, that's good actually. So I don't mind too much of the size; it's like it's, it's more the weight that I'm concerned about for uh, for tramping. Anyway, I'll say 73s there, and um, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers all.